Right people, welcome back to the channel. Today we're not doing anything in terms of riding a bike, but in terms of showing you guys how to fix, or not necessarily how to fix, but how to bleed your KTM oil pumps. So we've got a new 2023 KTM 250 EXC. And on the new model of bikes, it is actually a different connector, which is here. So, Whilst all these are lost, this one's actually been really well greased. Um, so whilst a lot of you will be looking for the old one, which it used to be in the air box, you'll be looking for a long time because they've changed it now on the new models. So we're going to show you how to bleed the oil pump. Um, and yeah, get on with your bike. So you'll be able to take a closer look in just one second. So first of all, if you bought the bike brand new, then more than likely you'll have a connector that fits straight into this connection. If not, and you're like us that don't have a connector with a workshop, we do do loads of different bikes. We just have a simple piece of wire that is like this. Little tweezers like chopsticks. This is how we do most of our bikes. Um, I'm going to show you now a quick example. I'll show you a quick example now with us using this piece of wire to get the oil pump working to bleed it. You do this maybe if your bike's been sat for a very long time or you've just done the top end on it. Obviously, every time you do a top end on these bikes, you do want to change the oil pump. We've had numerous bikes at like 50, 60 hours fail or even people bringing them at 80 hours just wanting the top ends being done and the barrel is all scored where the, the oil pump has been intermittent um, but other than that oh I've dropped it now we're moving on Betsy's top tips so this piece of wire I'll have to prop you up somewhere now right so you simply get this piece of wire and then you pull this back here and you look for the brown and white and black wire and simply connect this into the brown slot like that making sure you've got a good connection then push that into the black and white one rev the throttle count one two three four five release and now if you just look down there you can see the oil pump on you can even hear it pumping into place after listening to that for a good minute or so just waiting for it to stop it will stop on its own then your oil pump is bled. You can do this one to three times, depending on how much oil you want to unload in it. But generally, we build ours up with oil, so we only have to do it once. Um, but yeah, Betsy's top tip on your new KTM 2023. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed that top tip. Um, we're going to be doing some, doing some more of these top tips um, with the bikes, as we've been working on a, a lot of KTM Husqvarna gas cast now. It's pretty much all the bikes that we're bringing in, as you can see in the shop, Husqvarna. KTM, Husky, KTM, KTM, KTM. I wouldn't like to say that they're the most bikes that break. They're really not. Sherco and Beta definitely break a lot more, but my customers like to service the bikes. Um, but moving forward, on Thursday this week, we're going to the F1 at Silverstone for the Super Enduro races there. Me, Charlie Frost, Jake, uh, Jake Young and James Jackson are all going up there. It's going to do numerous shows there at the F1 with Red Bull, so that's absolutely sick. Be vlogging the whole experience, big part is the lot. Um, also, in store this week, we've got a 10% discount going on live up until Saturday, so that'll be sick. Um, if you do need anything and you're not able to get to the store, be sure to just give the shop a ring and I will hook you up because if my subscribers are ringing, I'm going to sort you out, don't worry about that. But anyway, moving forward, um, getting my 350 built up tomorrow, so I'm going to do a bike check video with that as well, because that's just the sickest bike in the world. Other than that, I love you all and leave yours. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.